Welcome back to the homestead everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we use cattle panels to trellis our tomatoes in our raised beds. One thing we love to do every year when we grow tomatoes is trellis them vertically. Now, we do this for a number of different reasons. We do it for airflow, improved health on the plant itself, and then we also do it for higher production of the fruit. The way we accomplish this is by vertically trellising our tomatoes upwards. We're done with tomato cages. We don't use them anymore because they fall over in our raised beds because our soil's so loose. So this for us is the best way to trellis our tomatoes. One thing I love about this system is it is super easy to get in and out. All we did was build channels on the side. So this hoop slides down on this side and then it slides down on the other side. So when we're done for the season, all we do is lift this hoop up and we've done nothing to it. It can be reused for a different application if we want to or it can be put back in place for next season if we wanna do it in a different bed. There is nothing permanent about this setup and that's why I absolutely love it. Now obviously this is very specific to our application. If you haven't seen how we build these raised beds, I'll leave a link here on the screen in the description below and you can check out the video on how we build these 12 foot long by four foot wide by two foot high beds. Now let's jump straight into this project and I'll show you how we build these things. So what you're gonna need is two hog panels. I get these at Tractor Supply. They're about 40 bucks a piece. You're gonna need eight two by four by eights. You can replace these with just four two by four by 12s instead of eight footers. That's just what I have on hand. Um, you're gonna need obviously some screws some twine there in the bag, and then I have my uh, tomato clips conveniently scattered all over the place. You're gonna need some tomato clips. I'll leave links for a lot of these down in the description below. You can check some of those items out. Let's go ahead and get started on our side supports. So all I'm doing is measuring from the end of the bed to the center of this support because we're gonna have two two by fours sitting right here on this center support. All right, we just made our first pocket. This is, the, this is where the uh, cattle panel is gonna slip into. So all we're gonna do now is do the same thing all around the bed. So at the bottom and the top on either side of this bed is gonna have some of this wood. So we'll go ahead and make our cuts and then put these sides on and then we'll get the hog panels on. We're gonna go ahead and set our hoops in. For this part, you're gonna need two people. I got my brother out here and we're gonna just slide him in the pocket.
All right, we got our hoops in. Super easy, really simple. They slide right in because the gap that you're sliding them in is pretty big. Um, I like it. Turned out nice. It's stable enough for tomatoes. There's not going to be any issue here with stability. This is going to be strong enough. The cattle panel is going to be strong enough to hold the uh, trellising up. So let's jump right into the next step, which is going to be using our twine to come down from the cattle panel and then using our tomato clips to clip onto our plants to start to trellis and train them upwards. All right, so for the twine, I like to use something that is going to be compostable at the end of the season because every season you're done growing your tomatoes, all that's going to happen is you're going to rip them up and you're going to take all of them because it's going to be a big jumbled mess and you're going to dump them in, into your compost pile. So we got our twine here and our tomato clips here. They actually sell a compostable version or a biodegradable version of this tomato clip so that when you dump it, it's gonna compost down into your compost pile. So I'll leave a link to some of those in the description below. I highly recommend those. This is just what I have on hand right now. This part's super simple. All we're doing is tying off our twine at the top. Have it kind of be generally over where your tomato plant is you're wanting to trellis. Or get some tension on your twine. And then take your tomato clip Flip it around your string and then secure it around the bottom most uh, branch off of your tomato plant and that's going to hold it kind of taut. Okay so one thing to note our hog panel goes across the bed like this so our 12 feet go down this way. We are tying our trellising lines onto the lines that go parallel with the bed so that we don't if we tied them here they would kind of slip down a little bit. So this way they don't slip. They can go this way, which is not a big deal, but at least they're not losing tension because they're slipping down this way. And then we're spacing them just a, you know, a square apart here. And then they're a little bit further apart in the middle and the same over here on this side. Because these guys are gonna have room to go this way where these guys would have kind of competing, so. Right. Honestly, what might end up happening is some of it could get trellised along the side of the hoop here as well. So just to reiterate on these tomato clips, you're using the back portion of the clip to cinch onto your trellising line, and then you're putting a bit of pressure, downward pressure here before you clip around the bottom branch or whatever branch of your tomato plant that you are clipping onto. So anyway, I'm gonna help my wife and we're gonna finish up these trellising lines. That's the completed product. This thing is done. We absolutely love it. It is gonna work perfectly for trellising our tomatoes. All right guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna follow the progress of our, our tomatoes trellising, you can do that by checking out our Instagram page. I'll leave a link in the description below. And as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it, hit all, and you'll receive all of our notifications when we release videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.